Even, even though it's my first time, you, you have such strong uh, images of it in your mind because it's so iconic. And, uh, and being here in Tokyo is a really special experience. Uh, I just, you know, I can't get enough of it. I can't believe it took this long in my life for me to get here, but I'm very grateful to be here right now. And I, and I, will, I will tease this, you know, we haven't been talking about Avengers 4 very much because we, we aren't finished with the movie yet. Um, and, and we're, we're keeping, keeping the focus very much on Avengers Infinity War right now. But I will say that uh, uh, Japan has a special uh, uh, presence in uh, Avengers 4 that I look forward to uh, you all seeing next year. I mean, he's Iron Man, so it's kind, of, uh, it's kind of an amazing thing going to work with him every day and working with him in the morning and rehearsing the scene and pitching ideas to him, and him pitching ideas to you, and working together. And Robert is completely ego-free, you know? Like, he comes to set, and he works as hard as the next person. He's so polite, he's so professional. Um, and he's a real dream to work with, because he keeps you on his toes, you know? He's so talented, and he's so good at improvising, that it means you can't just coast through a scene. Because if you relax and sort of go into autopilot mode, he'll throw something at you and then you just look like an idiot because you weren't concentrating. So he's the kind of actor you really have to uh, focus when you're working with. Um, you know, for me, to play Peter Parker and to play Spider-Man uh, was a dream, you know, as a kid. Ever since I was, I think I first watched a cartoon when I was about four years old. I feel like I've been playing Spider-Man in my bedroom since I was five, you know? I've had countless Spider-Man costumes over the years. I've been to parties dressed up as Spider-Man, and now I get to call myself the Spider-Man. So it's kind of surreal, and, and, and the only way to describe it is a dream come true, because it is. Uh, but yes, it's my third movie as Spider-Man, and he is the youngest Avenger. He's 15 years old still, or maybe 16 now. Maybe 16. <laughs> um, and for me, it was important to just make sure that the youthful side of his character stayed. You know, when you have all of these superheroes who are all grown up and all understand the stakes in which they're sort of going through with Thanos, it's quite refreshing to have a 16-year-old boy who doesn't really know what's going on and is just enjoying himself until he realizes that it's way more dangerous than he thought. Um, so yeah, for me, it was just about making sure that the youthful side of the character wasn't lost amidst the chaos of Infinity War. Face to the left side, please. What's the more, more left side, please? Yes. And the movie camera behind is over there. Can you wave the hands to the movie camera over there? Yes? All right. Hi. Thank you very much. 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 Th
、えー、ゲストの皆さんありがとうございました。どうぞ皆さん大きな拍手でお送りください。Mr. Anthony Russo and Tom Holland、溝端淳平さん、そして佐野岳さんでした。ありがとうございました。I just want to say on behalf of Marvel,、uh, on these press tours, it is mind blowing how huge the fan love is around the world. Here in Japan, you guys have been amazing. So thank you so much from everyone at Marvel. We really, really appreciate it. Love the movie, and、uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you so much.